Hey everybody, it's George the Tech at Podcast Movement, and I've made my way finally over to Mackie, and we're getting an interview here with Matthew before it gets too noisy in here, and he's gonna show us his baby. Yeah. What we got, Matthew? Well, we're here today. We've got the brand new DLZ Creator. We launched this back in May. We've been working on this thing for about two and a half years. So that's what I kind of, a lot of people learned how to, you know, make sourdough over COVID. And I, I decided to design a mixer. So we, you know, we're, we're here with it and, and we're really excited about this. I think there's, there's definitely some highlights. Obviously, this is a digital podcast mixer. You can use it for live sound, but it's really designed for podcast use case streamers, folks that are, you know, creating content, right? Yeah. Mackie's been behind the content creator since 1989. Only it used to be grunge, long hair and, and flannel. Uh, but today it's it's podcasters it's unboxing toys right you know it's things <laughs> like that that's what people want to do and so what yeah. we're trying to do is democratize audio make it yeah. easier no matter what your experience level so what how we've done that is we've put three distinct user modes in one product that's cool yeah. and what this effectively does is it allows you to work however comfortable you are if you you're brand new you've never done anything we have an easy mode that hides almost every parameter from you and allows you to just kind of have a preset based workflow because it's very easy to load which microphone you're using right now we also have an enhanced mode this is very similar to other products you'll see in market uh, you know there's a lot of competitors out there but yeah. you know it's going to be the feature set that a lot of folks are comfortable with if you if you're coming from a roadcaster for example mm -hmm. you know enhanced mode is going to be very comfortable for you mm -hmm. and then finally we have a pro mode and what that does is that kind of goes back into the mackies you know our back end master fader is a really good example of a, of a pro product that we put out for many years yeah. but we wanted to have all the features that you imagine so just to jump into easy mode fairly quickly, I'll just kind of show you the channel view. We made it as easy as we possibly can. You're loading a preset for the channel. We've got our EM99B microphones. So you can just pick the microphone you're using and load it right up. We also have the SM7B and, and many other, you know, a little bit more generic microphones as well. Right, right, plenty of choices, right? <laughs> You know, the, the easy customer could then, you know, label the channel, right? We want to change the color. Let's make it blue. Let's go ahead and put a little little person in there, right? We That's can do fun. that. That changes the color. We can it's we a can scribble strip. We used to yeah. Call there's that. a scribble strip as well, so we can we can label it as well. So we can call this one Joe, for example. This is Joe's mic. I'm doing it upside down, so I'm a little slower <laughs> than I normally be, but you know, it's Joe's mic and. It's a digital product, and I'll be quite honest. I, 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 I've worked on analog consoles, and I love board tape. It's kind of a fun, like, tactile thing. But I'll be honest: if you have a digital console, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to label it digitally, right? Exactly. You know, put in the name, color, icon, that sort of thing. Yeah. And that's really, you know, been true for Mackie since the DL products. Tell us about Auto Mix because that is something that really stands yeah, out. Yeah, let's do it. Among, yeah. yeah. So if you are brand new, right, we can help you set up the channel very easily. Yeah. But we also have Auto Mix. And what this really does is allows you to do what it's kind of based on. Dugan style gain sharing, right? So each microphone, if there's no signal present, it doesn't get any gain. But if there is signal present, it gets all the gains. Right. And what this does is this helps, you know, so like it helps reduce feedback. So from other microphones, because they're not live, it helps yeah. reduce noise because those other microphones aren't live at that point in time, right? Yep. So really it just helps clean up the whole system. Another huge benefit is when people talk over one another. Now you could ride the faders and, and that, that's something that it's you can do, do, you know, and a lot of people do do, but if you don't want to do that, this is a really great feature. You can just, you know, have everybody set to medium and you're all sharing gain. So if you talk over one another, it'll reduce the overall volume and you can hear everybody yeah. as opposed to everyone talking over one another. Yeah, now, for another, me, that's important because if you're, uh, I host a show and I'm the sound engineer. Yes. So riding the faders and being engaged in a conversation, you it's, very, you can't really do it well. So right. the auto mix clears up cross talk between channels. We use condensers. Yeah. So it really cleans up a mix when you have auto mix set up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really helpful. And we've actually gone one step further and we actually added in these priorities. And what that does is it allows you to set priorities. So you're talking about being the host. As the host, you could set your priority to high. And what that will do is that will allow you to be the loudest no matter what. So if you're running a political podcast and you know that people might talk over one another or they might get a little argumentative, you can always set yourself to just one level higher. And what that will do is that way you can come in and go, hey guys, we gotta take a commercial break or what have you. You know, you can kind of help control the conversation a little bit more easily. A little bit like ducking. Sorta, of, but similar to way more control. Yeah, but when you combine it with the, the auto yeah. mix, that it's yeah, it's, it becomes very powerful. Right, right. Like I said, that's our easy mode. And one step further on the easy mode, which is kind of cool, is we have this setup assistant. And this will literally walk the customer through everything you need to do to get this, the, the mixer set up. It tells you to push up the channel faders. We know that if you've been in the audio industry for a long time, you have to push up the channel faders to get audio to pass through the mixer. That's not inherently obvious to a brand new user. Uh, why do I have to push those up? You know, well, you need to. And so we tell the user to do that. Yeah. We have them plug in their headphones. We then pipe audio to the headphones, allow you to turn up each headphone to whatever level feels most comfortable. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, and I'll be honest, I got my start in tech support. So we built tech support in the headphone help, right? You know? we were saying before, like the reason this product is so good 
is because you came from support. So right. you understand where all the issues are and you designed it right in. Right, so we put in a lot of places where people do have pain points. Yep. We, we, we hope to eliminate those pain points. Same thing with the microphones. We help you set up the microphones, tell you where to plug in the microphones. We go ahead and say, hey, here's your microphone one. We, you, know, you can kind of select the microphone by picture also. So if you know what your microphone looks like, you can kind of get going. Also, we have automatic gain setting. So for yep. each one of the microphones, you don't need to know how to set gain. You can press listen and set for me. And depending on how far you are from the microphone, how strong your voice is, right. how, how, you know, how, how much gain your microphone really needs, right. we will go ahead and automatically set that on the back end. The, the, you know, the yeah. mixer is smart enough to do that for you. Yeah. Also, again, microphone help. Are you here not hearing anything? Try some of these <laughs> suggestions. That's great. They're and gonna learn a lot. I, I bet if they want to, they'll learn a lot about engineering from going through all that. Because they're going to be familiar with all the functions and the inputs and the learn terminology and stuff. So yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and then like I said, in pro mode, we can we'll jump straight to pro mode. And obviously, in pro mode, you're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the setup assistant right now. But in pro mode, it's the no holds barred, right? So we go into a channel view. You have full dynamic processing. You have access to 48 volt fan power, independent delay and reverb sends, pan control. Also, we hide pan from our beginning users because they're only gonna hurt themselves with it. And again, full EQ, full gate full compressor, de-esser, all the stuff that you would expect in a full dynamic digital yeah. mixer like this without any any limitations. Now, the other really cool thing about it, and I, and what's we, t we took a lot of time to figure this out, but all of this is on non-destructive. So what's really cool as a pro, if you have you know this product, if you have multiple users that have different experience levels, everyone can benefit from the same product. A pro can jump in, set up all the channels, get it all absolutely dialed in, dialed in with all of the processing, switch it over into easy mode, hand it off to their brand new user, and that brand new user will get access to all that cool processing, but it's been hidden from them. So they oh, don't get lost, I love that. they don't get, and it's completely non-destructive. I can, I can tell somebody to get this. Yes. I can set up all that stuff in pro mode. Yes. It's locked away in easy mode, and they can't mess anything up. Exactly, and it hides load. it all from them. They, now, And the cool thing is too, is you can load them a preset specifically for their voice and name it, and then they can just load that preset. So it's really, really flexible That's in great. those situations. And, and like I said, whether you're growing with the mixer, you're brand new and you want to grow to become a pro, or if you have a situation where you're, this is going to be put in a studio and the studio is going to be used by both pros and people that have no idea, it's really a lot more flexible. And what it does is it helps avoid what I call smear. And so a lot of times you see consoles in this category, and what they'll do is they'll be kind of easy, sort of easy to use, but they're not quite easy enough for someone who has no idea what they're doing. And then a pro will get in there and they'll say, well, yeah, I have those controls, but they're kind of clunky or they're difficult to use. And so what we really try to do is make it happy for both users. And what that means is actually separating out those user modes into two distinct interfaces. Yeah, it's a beautiful product. Looking forward to, to banging on it a little bit and giving you some tests yeah. and trying it out in the real world. And congratulations on the launch. It's, looking, yeah. it's a beautiful product.